there are two players on each side in doubles, there is less court to cover for each player. That means the tempo can be much higher and there is more attacking play. The aim in doubles is to attack. That is to hit the shuttle down. Therefore, you must make your opponents take the shuttle below the net. There are two simple basic rules. When you lift the shuttle, you move into a defensive side-by-side -side position and where the shuttle is low on your opponent's side, you take up an attacking formation with one in the rear court and one in the forecourt. A short straight serve is the most effective serve variation in doubles. The shuttle is in the air for the shortest time and the serving pair covers the court most effectively. I place the shuttle as close to the centre and short service lines as possible. By doing this, the shuttle is in the air for a very short time. The diagonal flick service forces the opponent rapidly backwards and to the side. The serve is aimed as close to the back line and side line as possible. It can also be used to force a weak rear court player to the back. The short diagonal or cross-court serve is a variation that brings the opponent not only forwards but sideways. One aims the serve as close to the sideline and short service line as possible. A flat shuttle trajectory aimed as wide as possible is the goal. The straight flick serve is a surprise serve which you can also use when the opponent is badly placed when receiving serve. The serve is placed close to the middle and as close to the rear service line as possible. The service is probably the most important shot in doubles and you can look to play the serve in such a way as to get the maximum advantage from the start of the rally. The rush as a service return involves being as aggressive as possible when returning. That is taking the shuttle as early as possible and trying to kill the shuttle directly. The net shot, or stop, as a service return is probably the most common one to the double short service. The stop is played straight or cross. The aim is to make the opponents lift so that we can start attacking straight away. The stop can be played straight or cross and aim it to the sideline. The push as a service return is used to place the shuttle, for example, into the mixed positions or half space to create confusion between the players about who's going to take it. The push can be varied by hitting it to the baseline, so the back player must move back 
and sideways. The point is that your opponents cannot attack. The aim is to take the shuttle as early as possible to show aggression. The smash is probably the most common return of flick serve in doubles. With the straight smash, the shuttle is in the air for a shorter time and it is difficult for the receiving pair to take. A variation to the straight smash is the smash between the players into the middle. This confuses the serving pair because they don't know who's going to take the shuttle. Another reason to use the smash to the middle is you minimize the risk of hitting the shuttle out of court and it is much easier to cover the court afterwards. Another variation is the drop or deceptive drop. That is, the opponents don't know if a smash or a drop is coming. I place it in the same way as the smash, straight, because the shuttle is in the air for a short time and gives the defending pair little time to play the next shot. A further variation is to drop in the middle to confuse the opponents, making them both go for the shuttle. It's important that this drop shot is a deceptive shot, so they can't tell if it's a drop shot or a smash coming. After a short serve, the players use the attacking position. That is, one at the back and one at the front. The forecourt player covers everything from the middle to the net, and the backcourt player covers everything from the middle to the back. After a short service, the server covers the net. Using these positions, the serving pair can keep the attack while serving short. With a flick service, the pair must go into a defensive position, side by side, because the shuttle is high on the other side and the shuttle is likely to come back far. The server moves back and covers the diagonal or cross return. The players stand side by side in the defensive position. In the attacking position, one at the back and one at the front, the front player covers the net but also looks for the flat diagonal return and he is always looking forward in the attacking position. The player at the back covers the rest of the court. In the attacking position, one at the back and one at the front, the front player covers the net but also looks for the flat diagonal return and he is always looking forward in the attacking position. The player at the back covers the rest of the court. In attacking play, the smash is used most. I place it straight and towards the middle. You almost never smash cross in doubles, because then you open the court. I place the smash straight. It gives the opponents less time to react.
A variation to the straight smash is the smash to the middle. It confuses the opponents because they're not certain who is going to take it. By doing this, I also cover the court the most effective way. I place the shuttle in the middle because they are unsure who is taking it and I cover the court much better. A variation in the attack is the drop shot. The drop can actually be an attacking shot. It must be deceptive, so the opponents don't know whether it's a smash or a drop that's coming next. The same as with the smash, I play the drop shot straight or to the middle. When I hit it straight, the shuttle is not long in the air and my opponents get little time to play the next shot. And when I drop in the middle, they don't know who is going to take the shuttle. I also cover my court the most effective way. Remember, the drop can be a variation of an attack in doubles. It forces the opponents forward and deep into the net. When we are attacking, we can also change position. That is, if the net player goes back to take the shuttle and the back player goes forward to cover the net. A good example is with a diagonal or cross-court lift from the defending pair. It is easier for the net player to take the diagonal lift than for the back player to go from side to side. It's also important that the back player comes forward at once when the net player moves back to cover the cross-court lift. Another opportunity to change attacking positions is when you follow up your own smash to the net. That is when the opponents can't lift it to the back and I'm already closer to the net. A possible variation here is the drop. I hit it into the court and follow it in. When the net player is moving backwards, it's important that the back player goes in and covers the net at once. Everything is designed to keep the attack. In the basic positions in defensive play, the players are standing side by side. The player covering the cross can go one step closer to the net to cover the court most effectively. When you get into a defensive position, you can use lifts. You can lift straight and cross to tire out your opponents. You must make sure that the lifts are long and high and cross and straight to force the opponents to move sideways. It's important in defense that the cross defender is one step closer to the net. When you are lifting, lift long and high to make your opponents tired 
Also, vary it with straight and cross lifts. Once again, if you're using lifts in defense, then think of height and length, and cross and straight. If I am in a defensive position, I will try to change that as fast as I can to attack. One way to do this is to block short as a return to the attack. By blocking the shuttle, I force the opponents to lift, so they can't continue their attack. Because the shuttle is below net height. Generally speaking, the blocking player will follow up his block to the net when changing defense to attack. Then the pair will go into an attacking position. If I block the shuttle short, I follow it into the net. A variety when you change from defense to attack is counter-attack. You play the block but at a higher pace and place it into the half court or half distance on the opponent's side. The same happens here as in blocking, that the player who counter-attacks follows the shuttle to the net. With counter-attack I change from defense to attack and go into an attacking aggressive position. In ladies' doubles, I must add some things that are different compared to men's doubles. First, girls are generally weaker than boys. That's why in ladies' doubles, it's smart to use the full size of the court, to use all four corners, and force the opponent to move across the whole court much more. There is more defensive play in ladies' doubles than in men's. The second thing is that we use the flick service much more in ladies' doubles. Since I'm trying to move the opponents all around the court, we use many more lifts in ladies' doubles. It's important that it's both a good length and width when lifting, and also vary cross and straight. When the opponents smash, I use more lifts to make them tired and also force them into mistakes when they change positions. In ladies doubles, the clear can also be an attacking shot, that is, an attacking clear. I use the attacking clear to force my opponents backwards. The most important thing is to use the whole court and force your opponents to move all the time. A good doubles demands good technique and 
good placement of the shots. A good serve with safe alternatives. Good and safe service returns with variations, plus a good attack with variations between deceptive smashes and drops. And accuracy in my defensive play, both in cross or straight blocks and lifts. You must also have good strength and fitness, and above all, fast and explosive footwork. Mixed doubles is probably the most difficult event where there is a difference in strength between the boy and the girl. Mixed can be said to be the most systematic event where the players always want to stand in the ideal position, the girl in front and the boy at the back. In this game, you need patience because all the time you want to avoid the other pair getting the opportunity to attack. It's maybe most important that the man and girl have respect for each other's strength. Even in mixed doubles, the most usual serve is the short straight serve. With the serving pair, when lady serves to lady, the man is standing behind the lady to cover the possible return to the half space. With the lady serving to the man, we serve short, of course, because I want the man to come forward. When the man is serving to the lady, the lady is always standing in front of the man, so she can cover a short return to the net. The ladies always work to get forward. When the man serves to the man, the serving pair's lady is standing in the same place as when the man serves to the lady. Then she can come forward fast to take the possible returns to the net. The flick serve is mostly used in mixed when the boy serves to the girl because then the girl is forced away from the net. It's important for the serving pair that the girl covers the cross or diagonal. One variety of short service return is the stop or net shot. That is, I try to take the shuttle as early as possible and just roll it over the net to force the lift from the opponents. second variety, and quite a normal return in mix, is the return to what are known as the mixed points, to use the corridor in the half space at the sides. I use this corridor to confuse the other pair and maybe make the girl go back or bring the boy forward. And also when I return to the mixed points the opponents must take the shuttle very low and play a defensive shot.
A third variation in mix is to push the shuttle back to the baseline corners. I use this mostly when the man serves short because then the man is standing quite close to the net and I try to push him down to the corners. The man will then be late and he has to hit a defensive shot. It's important when I push the shuttle that it's not a lift but a flat and hard push. Therefore, I must take the shuttle early. Since the man often flick serves to the girl, a diagonal or cross court clear from the girl can be a very effective weapon. The lady in the serving pair will be covering the diagonal, and so the shuttle is hit over her to force her back to the baseline. Remember that the ideal position in mixed is the girl in the front and the boy at the back. The straight drop is another return of the flick serve. The lady in the serving pair covers the diagonal or cross court return, so the man has to cover the straight drop. The serving pair is pushed out of its ideal position and they often do something unexpected which is exactly what we want them to do. The areas of responsibility in attacking mixed doubles are generally that the girl covers the diagonal and the man covers large parts of the remaining court including some short straight returns. When I attack in mixed doubles, I mostly attack, or smash, on the lady. Because the lady has normally a weaker defense than the man. Therefore, one can use cross-court or diagonal smashes in mixed doubles. In men's or ladies' doubles, you smash straight or in the middle. As a variation of attack in mixed, and the same as in doubles, I can use the drop shot as an attacking shot. When it comes to the placing of the shuttle, I always drop straight. The reason is that the ideal position in mixed doubles is where the girl covers the diagonal or cross court and the man covers the straight. So by hitting the shuttle straight, I bring the man forward in the court. An attacking shot which is typical in mixed doubles is the cross-court clear. If I'm in an attacking position, I know the lady is covering the cross-court. Then I can hit a cross-clear to move the lady to the baseline, forcing my opponents out of position. The lady always covers the diagonal when defending in mixed. She is standing quite close to the net with bent knees so she can work high and close to the net when she is defending.
During defensive play in mixed doubles, you always want the lady to cover the cross court. You can achieve this by, from the start, making the lady always lift cross. If she does this, the lady always covers the cross naturally when defending. She has to lift cross and also when the man is defending, he always lifts straight. The man should remember to lift straight. When the lady sometimes is forced to lift straight, it's important that she then changes side so she covers the cross court. That is, the lady must move sideways and cover the diagonal. If the man, by any chance, is lifting cross, then they both have to change sides so the lady is covering the diagonal once more. Generally in mixed doubles, we say that the man always lifts straight and the lady always lifts cross. The flat play to the half space is typical of mixed doubles. The players search the mixed points all the time to force the opponents to take the shuttle below net height. Important in the flat play is that the lady tries to intercept in the rally and stop the shuttle. She must be prepared for a flat cross court shot. It's important for the lady to be aggressive. She must keep the racket up and be prepared to intercept. In mixed doubles, it's important that I train the typical mixed double specialities, especially the flat waiting play. It's important that I practice serve and service returns, that I'm clever so I can make the man work at the back of the court and the lady in front, that the lady always covers the diagonal shots. And last but not least, that the lady and the man respect each other's strengths, both during training and competitions.